this confused because I was saying morning, like morning. It's evening. <laughs> good yeah. evening. Hi, good evening. How are you, Doc? Fine. Fine. How do you like to be called? Guadalupe, Lupita. How do you like to be called? <laughs> Guadalupe. Guadalupe, okay. <laughs> I had a friend whose name was Guadalupe and I called her Lupita. Oh. Because as I a, like Lupita too. You like her? <laughs> yes. Can I call you like that? <laughs> yes. Okay. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Sometimes I feel like the name Guadalupe is too big. Ah. <laughs> and I say Guadalupe and I, I prefer Lupita. Okay. So I will call you Lupita from now okay. on. <laughs> <laughs> so I was confused because I, I suddenly, when I started and, and I said, Jorge, good morning. <laughs> and I was, good morning. No, it's good evening. <laughs> See, I'm getting old. She's totally <laughs> normal. How are you guys? How was your day at work? Mm. Okay, in my case, I work uh, only so uh, sickness, illness, patient mm. for today, and I made uh, the pro the programmation program programmation the the the. Work schedule. Work schedule. Yes. Mm -hmm. schedule. Yes. Schedule. Schedule. Mm -hmm. I think that sometimes paperwork is more difficult than the, than, so for example, like uh, having appointments with your patients. Huh? It could be more difficult than just seeing patients. Sometimes paperwork and organizing things, it's more difficult sometimes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. I different thing. I attend call, uh, WhatsApp, uh, cell uh, phone, cellular uh, call phone, mm -hmm. uh, and the other phone. Uh, I need to to call with <laughs> Dr. Arellana. Yeah. Uh, so you are multitasking, Lupita. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's uh, that. It don't you feel at night like if you were someone is calling you? Don't you feel like that? Like you I, have your phone. I respond my cell phone. Uh, seven. Uh, twenty-four. Twenty-four seven. Yeah, twenty-four seven. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Because uh, when mm. when. They have an emergency in Ironman. I attend the call uh, when it's necessary. Mm -hmm. But I, in other in other moments, I don't necessarily call me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but emergencies are emergencies, and it doesn't matter the time. It could be early in the morning or late at night. Or late at night, yes. Wow. And what do you know about Beatriz? How is Beatriz doing? Beatriz. Beatriz. Yes. Uh, I don't understand. The... Beatriz she... told me that she was sick. She works in Ironman as well. Ah, Beatriz. Uh, mm, yes, she works in Ironman, but she works uh, in. Home office in this moment. Ah. The group uh, works in in home office, mm -hmm. but in this moment she has she has COVID. Yes. Yes. She told me the last time that she was not feeling good at all, and I told her, yeah, I think that she spoke with the coordinators and all of that because she was not feeling good. I hope that she feels better now. COVID is very complicated, Alupita. Yes, it's, it's different uh, for the uh, age, the patient, for example, uh, Beatrice is young. Mm -hmm. 
but uh, my uh, doctor, for example, Dr. Marroquin uh, was COVID the last year in July. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, she, what do you say, so complicated. Uh, uh, it got complicated. Yes. Uh, <laughs> And it's different, as you said, it's different depending on the person's age and in the, the and their condition the, and, the, and the health condition of the person. But that is done her condition. I don't remember that she, she mm -hmm. don't have condition. Yeah, it's, 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 it's different. I think that it's different. My... My uncle, my, my uncle had COVID, but uh, well, my aunt and my uncle, both of them had COVID, but both of them died. One was in Mexico, and the other was here in El Salvador. He, my my uncle died in on December. So it's it's terrible. It's a COVID is. A horrible thing. Yes, it is. But what do you say, Bella? Uh, no tiene. The funeral. The funeral. No. Is it's, it's difficult? It is. It is the protocol. Yes. The protocol. Ah, no. That's one of the most terrible things that I have lived in my life. I was there at the cemetery, and we couldn't say goodbye to my uncle. Mm. It's, it's terrible. So that's why we have to be careful. We need to be careful with that because it's, it's complex, it's difficult. Once you have it, you don't know what's going to happen with you. So it's better to take care of yourself. Yes. The persons that you love. My brother died in November in my father in January 3 this yes. week, <laughs> oh, I know. but no COVID. Mm -hmm. It's difficult yes. loss of family. It is. A family. The loss is, is terrible. It's a terrible thing. With time, with time, uh, with time you start to feel a little less the pain, but every day is, it's difficult because we are humans and we have memories. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Lupita, we are going through this with <laughs> God's help first, with God's help. Okay, let's see. I have Douglas here, Giovanni and Paulino. Hello guys, good evening. How are you? Hello, good evening teacher. Hi, hey. how's everything guys? <clears throat> Hello teacher, good evening. Good evening, Giovanni. You are at work right now? Or you are driving? In my case, I am in house right now. Okay, very good. Douglas is right now thinking, uh, should I answer the teacher or I should not answer the teacher? Hmm. He's thinking. No teacher. Hello, mister. <laughs> How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? Here we are. Here we are again, trying okay. to do the things better. So, oh, it's good. Okay. So, welcome back. Oh, look, Mr. Sosa is coming. Oh. <laughs> Hello, David Sosa. Good evening. Teacher and then in the qualification, the notes, the I have them. I have them. I checked them this morning. I checked them this morning. I will send them to you individually. Yes. So you can you can you can you know it. I still have some of you that have done that test. So, hmm. You're going to upload the, the grades on Schoology? Yes. 
Okay. Yes, I'm going to put them there. Thank you. You're welcome, George. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> Okay, right now, Mr. Sosa is very creído. Yes, so don't talk to him. Hello, Sorry, David teacher, Leiva. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Sosa. I was, I just, I just thought to myself, oh, Mr. Sosa is ignoring me. No, oh, no, 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 teacher, no, no. Sorry. Ah, okay, okay, don't worry. I know, okay. I know. Mr. Leiva is also here. How are you, Mr. Leiva? Fine, teacher. How are you? Excellent. Trying to finish another day with a new, with an open mind to learn something new. Okay, so let's start. So can you believe it people? We are on a, February 22nd, February 22nd, huh? time flies. Yeah, time flies, exactly. Time flies. It, it just feels like if we started February, like, I don't know, like last week, we started February last week and suddenly <laughs> we are on February 22nd, time flies. And this coming Sunday, it's the last day of February, February 28th, Elections Day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> A difficult topic to talk about, uh, elections, elections, <laughs> politics, uh, um, politicians. Hmm. <clears throat> Something complicated to talk about. So there's the third week. This is our third week of classes, and we are in the National English for Work program. And then we are on beginner number six. So then uh, we have today's objective. Uh, which are today's objectives? A volunteer, please. Objectives. Mm -hmm. By the end of the lesson, participants will develop competence that will allow them to continue, teacher. Continue, please. Red collective schedule showing basic and common tasks in a restaurant. Talk about special activities at my workplace. Thank you, Mr. Polka. So that's today's objectives. So read a, about the collective schedules, showing basic and common tasks, and also talk about activities at your workplace. Those are today's objectives. Today's, um, this week, people, we will have a special evaluation. And we will have it um, for Thursday. We will have a special evaluation for Thursday. This is special evaluation that we will have. Uh, I will explain it to you. But before I go over that, we're going to start uh, just trying to, to help our brain to wake up. So the game we're gonna play right now is say the color, not the word. Have you ever played this? Say the color, not the word? Not really. No? Okay. Let's try to do it. Oh. <laughs> okay, here you have. You have to say the color and not the word. Not the word. Exactly. Yeah. So the first one is red. Red, light blue, Ooh. yellow, green, black, red, light blue, yellow, black, red, light green, dark green, yellow, dark green, light blue, black, red, and green. The word says blue, but you don't have to say blue, but what color are the letters of the word blue? Red. Red. Red, light blue, yellow, light green, black, red, light blue, yellow, black, red, and so forth. That's what you have to do. I'm going to give you just one minute to practice by yourself. 
<laughs> then I will ask a volunteer to read it. Go ahead and practice for one minute for yourself. And then I will ask for volunteers. Teacher, what color is in the four column? One, two, three, four. Uh, is, red? Uh huh. Is light green. Light green. Oh, okay. light green. That's light green, and the other one is dark green. And you have light blue. Light blue, because this is not blue, it's light blue. Okay. Tell me when you're ready. Okay, volunteers, please. Anyone? Someone? Don't be afraid, people. You can do it. Are you going to try? Go ahead, Giovanni, please. The, the second one is light yellow, true? Light blue. Light light blue, sorry. Light blue, yes. For, for, okay. Is the first uh, red, light blue, yellow, light green, black, red, Blue, yellow, black, red, light green, green, yellow, green, blue, black, red, and light green. Hey, very good, Giovanni. That was great. Giovanni, can you do it faster? No. <laughs> <laughs> Keep practicing, Giovanni. Keep practicing, okay? Later, we will go with you if you want it. Someone else, please? You see, Giovanni did it. What about the others? I tried, teacher. Yes, Mr. Poca, go ahead. Okay. Red, light blue, yellow, light green, black, red, light blue, yellow, black, red, light green, black, green, yellow, black, green, blue, black, red, and light green. Oh, Mr. Boca, that was very good. Excellent, Mr. Mm -hmm. Good job. Next, volunteer. Come on, guys. Let me see. I will select a person. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, Paulino, go ahead, please. <laughs> uh, red, yellow, 
eh, perdón, eh, red, blue, yellow, like green, black, red, blue, yellow, black, red, like green, green, yellow, green, blue, black, red, like yellow. Oh, like yeah. green. <laughs> like green, Paulino. That's right. Good job, Paulino. Mr. Sosa, please. Okay. Okay. Blue. No. Red, yellow, green, red, no. And blue. No, no. Okay. Except no. Blue, yellow. Mm, yeah, orange, green, red, orange, green, blue, yellow. Okay. Okay, Mr. Sosa. It was. Some of them were kind of confusing, but don't worry. Next person. Douglas, please. Next. <laughs> okay. I try. Go ahead. Red, blue, yellow, green, black, red, blue, yellow, black, red, green, light green, dark green, yellow, dark green, blue, black, red, light green. Excellent, that's right, good job. Thank you. Good job, good job. Lupita, do you wanna help me? Okay. Uh, red, dark blue, yellow, dark green, black, red, dark blue, yellow, black, red, dark green. Uh, oh no, right. <laughs> <Ya me confundo. laughs> no, dark is light green mm -hmm. and dark green mm -hmm. yellow dark green uh, light blue black red uh, light green yes very good very good very good okay the last person volunteer or i should should i select it girl power okay andy go ahead Okay, I tried. <laughs> yes, go ahead. Uh, red, blue, yellow, green, black, red, blue, yellow, black, red, green, like green, yellow, like green, blue, black, red, like Green. Yes, very good, very good. Thank you, Andy. Remember that, that this is lighter green and the other is darker green. There's a difference, people. Mm -hmm. Good. So you Thank see, you. you see it was not so difficult, huh? And that way we're helping our brain to work faster so we can learn new things easily. Good. Okay, as I told you, we're going to have a special evaluation this week. And the special evaluation that we're going to have is an oral presentation. Let me show you the way we will work with this uh, oral presentation. Okay. You can see over here, these are like the generalities. 
So oral presentation for this coming Thursday, February the 25th. We will have this oral presentation. Uh, what are you going to talk about in your oral presentation? So let's see. I would like a volunteer for reading, please, activity. Me, teacher? Yes, go ahead. Okay. Uh, oral presentation activity. Oral presentation about the different tasks you have in your company. Your presentation should include what your boss does in the company as well. Mention the time you do each activity. Make sure you use the simple present tense or forms and adverbs of frequency in your presentation. You will find the rubric that the teacher will use to evaluate your presentation. Thank you very much. So the, this is the activity, people. We will have we will have another presentation about the task that you have in your company. What kind of task? When we are talking about tasks, we refer to the different activities that you do in the company. What are your obligations? What do you do there? You are gonna uh, explain what you do every day in your job. Uh, also, you will talk about you and about your boss. You will talk about you, for example, uh, early in the morning, in my case, well, at 5 a.m. in the morning, I connect to Zoom or I uh, turn on my computer. I usually get up at 5 in the morning. Then I take a shower. After that, I turn on my computer because I have classes at 6 a.m. After that, we fin I finish classes from uh, at 8 a.m. Then I prepare classes, I grade homework assignments, and I check attendance. At 11 a.m. in the morning, I usually uh, prepare lunch at home because I am at home. And I also do some cleaning at home. At 12, I go and buy the tortilla because it's very important people to go and buy tortilla. And after that, I come back home and I have lunch at 12.30 p.m. Then I, at one, I start preparing my classes because I have to connect to classes again uh, in the afternoon. So that's like in general what I usually do every day. That's what you have to do. And if you're going to talk about your boss, you're gonna say, okay, my boss, he usually um, call clients. Uh, he interviews people or teachers for the English Academy. He asks or he is always checking his email and his messages. He's answering messages to his clients. He's checking numbers. So that's what he usually does. That's what I will tell about my, my boss. So I have to make sure, and I'm using the simple present tense over there. There is on the book, there in the book you will find, uh, this is like a general information uh, about what someone usually does <clears throat> during the day. You will find that conversation in your book. This is the rubric I'm going to use to evaluate you. So you can be in four categories, people. You could be in four categories in your speaking. So we're going to start with grammar structures. I would like a volunteer for reading, for reading this, grammar structures. Uh, 
Grammar structures. Use grammar structures accurately. Some grammar mistakes were spotted. Basic grammar mistakes. Incorrect word order and grammar structure. Very good. So if your <clears throat> structures are proficient, you have 25 points. So you use grammar structures accurately. It means you don't say, my boss, my boss, uh, get, go to the office. No. You know that when you are talking about the third person, you say goes. And you don't and you don't say, I not work. No, I don't work. So if you have problems with your grammar, then you will go to emerging, which is some grammar mistakes were spotted while you were speaking. So that's what we have to be careful about. When we are speaking, we have to be careful that we are not making mistakes. And if we make mistakes, we have 21 points. But if we have like basic grammar mistakes, but what are basic grammar mistakes? For example, if you say, ah, um, oh, teacher, uh, uh, I, I know, I know speak, I know speak. That's a very basic grammar mistake. And you are not the beginners. You are a little bit, uh, you are in, um, in a sixth level. So you have to be careful with that. And if you need to improve in correct word order and grammar structure, what does it mean? For example, if you say, oh, my, my, my house is color, color yellow. You know that in English you say yellow color. Teacher, I am I am I'm not I am I'm not I'm not good. No, I'm not okay. So grammar structures also talk about the third person singular, the way you use it, the verb to be. If you say uh, she are happy, if you say that, that's a mistake. That's a grammar mistake. That's with grammar structure. Then we have content of your presentation. Um, content, can you help me reading about the content, Herson? Okay. Clear ideas and information current and good vocabulary. <laughs> Ideas were not delivered completely. Good vocabulary. It was hard to understand the main point of the presentation. Translation from, from Spanish to English. No clear messages, not enough vocabulary use Spanish in the presentation. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Okay, so we're talking about content. What kind of information are you transmitting? Is your information clear? Are you coherent in your ideas? Or you say, I wake up uh, at seven o'clock and I like, I like pupusas and coffee. <laughs> Your information is not coherent. So if you if you are clear in your ideas and you complete your, your ideas, you have good vocabulary according to your level, of course, good vocabulary. Uh, then if you are proficient in that area, you have 25 points. But if you have some mistakes, 21 points, you have some mistakes, but we could understand your idea. You have 17 points if it was hard to understand the main point of your presentation and you are translating from Spanish to English. How do you do that? When you say, for example, I eat a breakfast. In English, you don't eat a breakfast. What do you do in English? I have. You have a breakfast, that's right. 
you have breakfast in English. That is translation from Spanish to English. Yes, and we have to be careful with that. If your message is not clear, your vocabulary is not enough for this level, and you are using Spanish in the presentation, then you need to improve. So you don't have to use Spanish in your presentation. Suddenly you don't have to say, eh, teacher, ¿y cómo es this? No, you have to prepare your presentation. So if you have any problem or any question about it. The next is pronunciation. Pronunciation, another volunteer, please. Pronunciation, correct word, intonation, and sentence read, written. Mm -hmm. Problems with the pronunciation of some words. Pronouncing words like in Spanish. Problems with M and T and at the end of words, plural words. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So if you, for example, are having problems with um, with the pronunciation of M, if you say, my name, about, nai, then you have problems with M and T or the plural of words. If you say, oh, I like to eat banana. Mm, no, banana. You have to use the plural form. Pronouncing word like in Spanish, for example, when we say, I think it is important. Important, interesting, important and interesting. Mm -mm. In English, we say important, interesting, interesting, important. So we need to be careful with the pronunciation of the words. And also, if you if you have correct word intonation and sentence rhythm, you have twenty five points. If there are some problems with pronunciation, oh, we can have them. So you have 21 points. That is with pronunciation. So let's pay attention to the way we pronounce the words in our presentation. And the last one is a fluency. I want to volunteer to read the last one. Fluency, not long pauses or crutches. Correct flow of ideas. Some pause will speak in but clear message and correct flow of ideas. Uses of crutches and long pauses during the presentation. Not complete ideas, long pauses and crutches. Yes, thank you very much, Leo. So if you have long pauses, like what? So if I say, uh, good morning, um, uh, um, my day um, starts, uh, I, 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 I wake up um, uh, at, at four. So that those are long pauses. Mm -mm. It's not good for your fluency because people are listening to you like, oh my God, when are you going to finish? Yeah, so you have to speak, try to speak fluently. Crutches. What are crutches? Uh, you know? Uh, you know? Uh, you know? Right? Uh, right? Pittsburgh. Right, exactly. Right, or when you say, eh, 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 eh. So, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. okay, 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 okay. Uh -huh. Well, well, well. So those are crutches. If you overuse them, that's a problem because it's difficult to understand your ideas. Okay, if you don't have long pauses and crutches and your flow of ideas is clear, you have 25 points. If you have some pauses while speaking, but your message is clear and you have a correct flow of ideas, you have 21 points. 
If you are having some crutches, long process, difficult to understand what you're saying, that's, uh, that's creating problems and you have 17 and the last one you need to improve because it's long process. Yes, and crutches. So we need to work on that one. So I'm going to send you this right now. So you have this um, uh, rubric. So you prepare your presentation according to this. You are going to use the structure that we have been studying, which is the simple present tense in all forms and adverbs of frequency. How long are you going to speak? Three minutes is okay. Three minutes. It's not going to be like the messages of the president, like two hours and three hours, no. It's going to be three minutes if you want to, and you have to prepare. If you want to use a presentation, use a presentation, a PowerPoint presentation. So your ideas are, uh, you have something to check and, uh, and to explain. I will ask you to turn on your camera for the presentation. This is like a preparation for you. It's like a preparation. Imagine that at work they tell you, okay, so you're going to talk about this product or this service that the company provides, or you're going to talk about your customers, about this situation, and you are e speaking in English, how am I going to do it? Nowadays, it's quite difficult to, to do it face-to-face, -face, so we do it through video conferencing rooms. That's why we need to use them and we need to get accustomed to use them. I don't know if there's any question about the presentation. Is for this coming Thursday? Any presentation? Any question about the presentation? This Friday will be the presentation. Uh, Thursday. Thursday. Oh. Yes. Thursday. This Thursday. Yes, this uh, Thursday. We're going to talk about this okay. different. Uh, you were going to choose the the products. Uh, uh, you will have the, for example, we are going to talk about uh, the cell phone or uh, another marketing mark. Or we are going to choose the the the, the theme we are going to explain. You are going to talk about the things that you do in your job, Rene. Uh, in our job. Yes, in your job. Ah, okay. What do you do? You're gonna you're gonna talk about your tasks. What do you do ah, okay. there? About you okay. and also about your boss. You're okay. gonna talk about the, the things that you do, your different tasks, and also about the things that your boss does. There is time only three minutes. Three minutes enough. is enough. Three minutes is okay. enough. Mm -hmm. I think that okay. more time it's not necessary because. What I want you to tell me is specifically what you do. All the things okay, that you do during the day from the start. What time do you get up? And after that, what's the sequence? What do you do? Uh, okay. After that, we're going to use adverse of frequency and all of that. That's the way we're going to do it. OK, thank you. You're welcome, mister. Okay. Any other question? Let me share the document right here with you, with the rubric. You to send the document. Uh, yes, to... it's right now okay. in the chat box. Okay. And I'm going to send it in WhatsApp as well. Teacher? Yeah, tell The me. next week, the activity. It's For the this, next week? It's this week. This week? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Is this week, teacher? Hi, teacher. It's this week. It's not something that you don't know. It's about the things that you do. It's about all the things that we have been um, learning, the simple present tense. That's what we will talk about. Hi, teacher. Hello. I have a question. Yeah, tell me. Uh, 
the whole group is going to participate on Thursday or? If we don't finish no. on Thursday, we're going to do it on Friday. Okay. Mm -hmm. We can spend Thursday and Friday doing this. That's why we're going to, to start on Thursday. So if not all of us participate on Thursday, then we have Friday to continue. Okay. Mm -hmm. There it is. You can check the document. It's over there. Is there any other question? Check it pretty fast and you tell me if there's a question, any question. So no questions? No. No? Okay. <clears throat> Do you it's want, uh, I, have a, I have a question. Do you want to move it for Friday? Do you want me to do it on Friday better? I give you an extra day. Yes, please. This will be better. <laughs> I think the Monday. <laughs> the next week, please. The next. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, people, we can do it on Monday, no problem. Okay, thanks. We can do it on Monday, no problem. Thanks, thanks teacher. I know, I know that it's difficult to work. I said I give. Okay, and, teacher. Thank you. And to and and to have, I know, to have a job and being here, it's not easy. I know it. So <laughs> if it is better for you, we can do it on Monday. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay. So we, You're I want you. <clears throat> I accept semitas, eh, eh, <laughs> tamales, Marielenas, yes, tamales, pupusas, yes. <laughs> okay, we will do it on Monday, and uh, I know that you are gonna do a great job on Monday. Okay, so we will start on Monday doing this. But uh, people, we need to be responsible. Most of you are responsible. I can see that. We need to be responsible with the homework. Yes, we have to, uh, to, to do it. I'm still pending with some uh, exams. So please, please, let's work on that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's, let's give this a chance till Monday and let's start with our class. If there's any question about the presentation, let me know. Okay, guys? Okay. Okay, so let's okay. continue. Good. Okay, this is the question. What did we learn in the previous class? What did we learn in the previous class? Just one volunteer, please. About frequency adverbs? Yes, very good. Frequency adverbs. What else? Never, usually. Mm -hmm. What else do you remember? Uh, the frequency R uh, is before uh, the present verb. Yes, the position in the sentence. Very good. When we're using the, the simple present is before the verb. I always drink water in the morning. Excellent. 
So we are talking about the simple present tense here. Simple present tense. And here we are the way the simple, sorry, the simple present works. So we have the affirmative of the simple present, which is, I think, you think. But when we are talking about he, she, and it, we say yes. things. things. We Think. need S. Sometimes we will need an ES or just an IES, depending on the verb. And then we have affirmative column. Can you read the affirmative column, please? A volunteer for reading the affirmative column? I think, you think, he thinks, she thinks, it thinks, we think, they think. That's right. Interrogative. No, I think, do you think, no, he think, no, she think, no, it think, no, we think, no, they think. Thank you. Negative. I don't think, I don't, you know, you know, you not think, he does not think, she does not think, he does not think, we don't not think, they don't not think. Exactly. In the negative, we can say, I do not think, or I can say, I don't. I don't. Exactly. We can contract it. I don't think. You don't think, he doesn't think, she doesn't think, it doesn't think, and we don't think, they don't think. We can use it like that as well. So if you can see over here, the structure is not difficult in the simple present. Subject, verb, and complement in the affirmative. Negative and interrogative, you need the auxiliary do or does. In interrogative, you need do or does, depending on the subject. And in negative, you need do and not, does and not. We're going to practice right now. So we're going to order these sentences. So let's start. Um, Mr. Celayandia, number one. Lupita, number two. Mr. Sosa, number three. Let's start. One, two, three. Mr. Celayandia, one. Lupita, two. Mr. Sosa, three. Start, please. Order okay. the sentence. Okay, number one. He drives to work every day. Yes, he drives to work every day. Negative, Mr. Celayandia. I don't think you are right. Oh, no, the negative of the number one. Ah, the negative. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, you are excited, huh? <laughs> yeah. He wants to do it all. It's okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't drive to work every day. Interrogative. Does he drive to work every day? Thank you, mister. Number two. I don't think you're right. Negative, uh, affirmative. Affirmative. I think you're right. Mm -hmm. And the interrogative. Interrogative. Uh, do I think you're right? Exactly, very good. And even the intonation, huh? do I think you're right? <laughs> very good. <laughs> Number three. We have enough time. You have to do it in the interrogative because there's a question mark at the end, Mr. Sosa. Sorry. We do we think how enough time? Do we have enough time? Very good. Do we have enough time? 
Affirmative. We have enough time. Inter uh, negative. Do we think how can of time? Uh, the negative, the negative. Uh, we don't think. We don't have. How can of time? Exactly. We don't have. We enough, don't have enough, enough time. time. Thank you, we Mr. Don't have Sosa. Enough time. Exactly. We don't have enough time. Remember, subject. We need with we we use do as an auxiliary. Do, uh -huh. do not. Do not. And the negative is have. we do not have enough time. Enough Thank, time. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Sosa. Okay, Mr. 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 Villeda, number four. Mr. Poca, number five. And Douglas, number six. Okay, number four. I eat cereal in the morning. Negative. negative four, I don't eat cereal in the morning. Interrogative four, do I eat cereal in the morning? Yes, and the, the sink in the rhythm, huh? do yes. I eat cereal in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Okay, number five. They write email emails every day. Question. Negative. Negative. Uh, they they don't write emails every day. Okay, now give me the interrogative. Do they write emails every day? Exactly, Mr. Poca, the intonation. Huh? Do they write emails every day? Very good. Number six. Yes. Do you watch a lot of TV? Does yes. you watch does does you watch a lot of TV? And doesn't you watch a lot of TV, teacher? Okay, Mr. Rivera, Douglas. The sentence is you watch a lot of TV. You what uh, auxiliary do you use for you? Yes. Do or does? Does. Do. Do or does. Which one do you use with you? Does. Do. 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 For, uh, for you, you use yes. do. 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 He, she, it. Mm -hmm. is, does. Exactly. With he, she, okay. it, we use does. So in number six, we use do as an auxiliary. So having that in mind, Douglas, uh, give me number six again. Uh, do you watch a lot of TV? Exactly. That's the question. Remember that in questions, do you, we say, do you watch a lot of TV? Do, uh, you, do you watch a, lot, watch of a lot of TV? Exactly. Now give me the negative. That's, oh, that's a new, no. Do, do. You do, you do watch. You watch a lot of TV? Do you? Do you don't watch TV? Okay, do you watch? Do you? I confused teacher. Okay, don't worry mister, because here I am to help you. Okay. Uh, so, remember, um, just let me write it over here. How do we write the negative? For the negative, we need do or or does. That's the structure. Okay. Plus subject plus verb plus complement plus the quest the question mark. So that's the structure, Douglas. If this is the structure, so, and number six is your sentence, let's start with do. Yeah. Do, after that, the verb. What is, what is the verb? Oh, the, the subject. The, the subject. Do, uh, you, you, do you, you, after that? Do you watch, watch. a lot of TV? Exactly, very good. 
Do you watch a lot watch of TV? A lot of TV. That's the that's the the interrogative. What about the negative? Yeah. We have the negative. For the negative, we need the subject. After that, we need the do oh, or you does. Don't. Yes. And you we don't need don't. not. And then we need the verb. And after the verb. We need complement. a complement. Okay. Complement. Okay. Now, knowing that this is the structure, Douglas, in number six, how is the negative sentence? Okay. You, you does not watch a lot of TV. Exactly. But remember that with you, what do you use? Do or don't? Do or doesn't? Uh, do. Do. Do not. Do not, exactly. Again, Douglas, you? You do not watch a lot of TV. Exactly. Good job, Douglas. You do not watch a lot of TV. A lot of TV. Exactly. And the affirmative is? What is the affirmative in number six? Uh, does you watch a lot of TV? No, the affirmative no, no. is you subject. Watch a lot of TV. You watch a lot of TV. Watch. TV. watch. Subject, verb, is a complement. It's you watch a lot, a lot of, of TV. TV. Exactly. That's the structure. You watch a lot of TV. Thank you, Douglas. Thank you very much. Okay. I okay. need to study. Mm, you need to practice. Don't worry. We have a lot of practice today. Okay. The next one, okay. Mr. Poca, number seven. Angel, number eight. Again, teacher. Oh, Mr. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Poca. No, no, not again. I want to let you rest. Giovanni, number seven. Paulino, number eight. And David Leiva, number nine. Teacher, yeah. you say that me, the number eight. Angel. Oh, Angel. Okay, Angel, listen. Well, don't worry. <laughs> Giovanni, <laughs> number well. seven. <laughs> Paulina, number eight, David Leiva, number nine, and you, number 10. Me, number 10. Yes. Okay. There you go. Okay, number seven, please. He is not read the newspaper. Okay. Does he read the newspaper? Mm -hmm. He read the newspaper. Okay, he read the Giovanni or reads? He reads the newspaper. <laughs> Very good. Remember that in the third person, we need the S or the ES on the verb. Thank you. Number eight. She does, she dances often, often. Okay, she dances or she oh. dances? She danced. She dances, very good. She dances. Um, does she dance often? Mm -hmm. um, she dances. I don't know. What is missing? That's auxiliary. Right. Auxiliary. She does. She does dance often. Okay. You need the auxiliary, Paulino. What's the auxiliary for she? Does. Does. And since it is negative, you need not. So she. Doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't dance. Often. Yes, Paulina. Very good. Number nine. Okay, number nine. Uh, 
where do I come on Mondays? Mm -hmm. I do come on Mondays, in affirmative. And negative, I don't come on Mondays. Yes. And then um, in the affirmative, give me the affirmative again, David. I do co come on Mondays. Okay, you are using double affirmative on your sentence. So you have to give me just one verb because it's the affirmative. Uh, I come. Exactly. I come on Mondays. On Mondays. That's right. Thanks, Mr. The auxiliary, the auxiliary is not is not necessary. No, it is not necessary. Okay. Just, just if you want to emphasize your sentence, for example, if someone says, David, oh, so really, do you work in Aeroman? I do work in Aeroman. Like if, so, if you want to emphasize it, you really want to emphasize your sentence, so you use the auxiliary, but just for emphasis, not for normal speaking, not a regular affirmative sentence. Thanks, teacher. Okay. okay, number 10. Okay. And interrogate is what you what you do at the weekend. Um the negative seria you do mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. you do not at the weekend. It's correct, teacher. Okay, you are just giving me the 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 auxiliary, but you're not giving me the main verb. Which is the main verb in the sentence? Mm, what? Do. 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 do is the verb. Do is not auxiliary. No, do is not an auxiliary. Do is the verb. Do is the verb, yes. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Exactly. That's the question, mm -hmm. Angel. What? What do you do? At what the do weekend? you do? What do you do at the weekend? What do you mm -hmm. like to eat? What do you yeah. what exactly? What do you exactly? That's the, the now give me the, the negative. The negative and um, yeah, you don't you don't you don't not the, give me the verb. You don't you don't do exactly Sería. yes you it will be you don't do you don't, you don't do. do exactly you don't, you don't do, do that at the weekend you do you don't do that the weekend mm -hmm. do that exactly okay. it's like if you give a command if a if a little kid is trying to touch a fire don't do that mm -hmm. don't do that so don't do don't that, do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes. Okay. In, in the case the affirmative, affirmative, what is the? Okay. Angel is gonna give me the affirmative right now. Listen, please. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> okay. So the, uh, it will be. You, it you will do, be. Mm -hmm. You do. You do do. No, seriously. <laughs> no, because remember that in the affirmative you don't use auxiliary angel. Uh huh. Okay. You do at the weekend. You do at the weekend, exactly. Only that. The only okay. that. You do at the weekend. That's all. You do at the Teacher. weekend. Mm -hmm. May I say what you do at the weekend? No, you need the auxiliary. You do at the weekend. Why, teacher? Do at the weekend. Because if you if you don't use the auxiliary, it's incorrect. Grammatically speaking, it's incorrect. What do you do? What do you do? If you don't use the auxiliary, it's like if you're speaking like Tarzan. Like Tarzan ama Jane. Tarzan, <laughs> Tarzan, Tarzan gustar bananas. Tarzan, <laughs> Tarzan pelear personas. Yes. That, you will speak like that in English if you say, what you do at the weekend? No. What? What did you say? No. What do you do at the weekend? So you need do. This and then, mm -hmm. uh, and the number nine, if I say where do I come on Monday, is correct. It's correct, Mister. It's correct. Where, but I can say where 
where I come on Mondays? No. Where I do? Where do I Monday. come on Mondays? Where do I come on Mondays? You need the auxiliary. If you don't use the auxiliary, you are Tarzan. <laughs> So you need the auxiliary. I know it's difficult because in Spanish, we don't have auxiliaries. In Spanish, we don't have a similar structure. In, in Spanish, we don't use auxiliaries at all, but we have to use it. Think, think in this way. If you don't use auxiliaries in the questions, it's like if you are saying, like you are speaking like a gringo. Gringos speak like this. If you have ever spoken with gringos in Spanish, oh, me gustar papusas, uh, uh, me comer. So they are using the correct verb, but they are not speaking correct Spanish. They are saying me comer, and the correct one is yo como. So it's the same here. If you don't say, where I come from is like mi comer. So you need to use that do and that does in the sentences. Okay. It's mandatory. Okay, we're going to continue with the next ones. Uh, Mr. Valiente, number 11. Andy, number 12. Giovanni Alvarenga, number 13. Go ahead, guys. Affirmative. You don't drink much tea. Okay, you are oh. giving me the, the negative. Oh. Sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. uh, you drink you drink much tea. Yes. Affirmative. Negative. You don't drink much tea. Mm -hmm. Inter... Uh, Question. Yeah. Question. Uh, do you do you drink much tea? Yes, Mister. Twelve. Number twelve. Hello. Who was number twelve? I think it was Andy. Andy. Andy, number 12. Are you there? I think that Andy is not there. It's not there. Okay, number 12, I would like to ask William. Number 12, William. No, William. William isn't there as well. Oh. I can repeat. Okay, okay, go ahead. Okay, and the question is how, how, Teresa, question, do how, to who? I, Sorry, I have problems. Oh, does he travel that. to work? Do how, does. How does, does he how travel to work? He travel how does. To work? Okay, okay, okay. The first word is how. After how? How? How, does, how does he travel to work? Does he, he travel to work? Exactly, ladies and gentlemen. Very good. How does, how does he travel to work? Travel to work. Exactly. Affirmary, mm -hmm. he travels to work. He travels to work. Travels to work. Okay, and negative is doesn't travel to work. He doesn't. He doesn't travel. Doesn't. He doesn't. He travel to work. Exactly. He doesn't travel to, to work. Work. Very, very good. Very good. Thirteen. They don't like vegetables. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Good question, interrogative, uh, do they eat? I'm sorry. Let me see. Mm -hmm. 
You were okay. You were okay. Say it again, please. You were okay. Negative. Uh, they don't like beta words. Yes. Negative. That's negative. Yes. Now give me yes. the interrogative. I think is do they don't like beta words? Okay. Don't use negative again. Do they not like? Uh, do they? Do they? Do they? they, they do they? And now the verb. Do they? Like, like, Based like vegetables. Exactly. Do they mm. like vegetables? And now give nice, me the. Nice. And now give me the affirmative. Uh, they like vegetables. They like vegetables. Excellent. Vegetables. Excellent. Teacher, Our, yes. one question, teacher. Yes, tell me. May I say, don't they like vegetables? Don't they like vegetables? Yes, you can make negative questions. Okay. You can do it. You can make negative questions. Like if someone says, look, he's eating pizza. Doesn't he like pizza? <laughs> or doesn't he like pupusas better? You can say it like that. Yes. Okay. You can say it like that. 14, a volunteer for 14, please. Mr. Pocasangre, teacher. <laughs> no, because he will, he will tell me, again, me, teacher, he will tell me, and I will feel very achicada. <laughs> very, very achicada. <laughs> 14. Me, teacher. Go ahead. She catch a call every winter. Okay, remember that catch ah. is a verb that we catch. need to catch. Catch. Good, continue. She doesn't catch a call every winter. Yeah. Does she catch a call every winter? Mr. Poca. Good. <laughs> 15. Lupita, you want to do it. I know you want to do it. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. I go oh, often. I go often. Uh, do, do I go out often? Yeah. And I don't go out often. Slopita, good job. 16? You speak English. You don't speak English. Do I speak, do you speak English? <laughs> Do you speak English? I can talk Washington too, Mr. Villeda. Yes. That's right. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> 17, please. Seven. Osa. We take the bus often. Uh -huh. We don't take the bus often. Mm -hmm. Do we take the bus often? That's right. Good job. Good job. 18. She worked to school. She does not work to school. Does she work to school? Mr. Sosa. Good job. <laughs> Excellent. 19. What do you buy in the supermarket? Mm -hmm. um, you buy in the supermarket. Exactly, mm -hmm. affirmative, very good. You, affirmative, mm -hmm. you buy in the supermarket. In negative, mm -hmm. um, you, don't. You, you, don't, you don't buy in the supermarket. That's right, excellent. Good job. And the last one, 20. It carries okay. such a heavy bag. How does he carry such a heavy bag? Yes. 
He carries such a heavy bag. Excellent. Nothing much. Mm -hmm. He doesn't carry such a heavy bag. Yes. Very good, people. Very good. Let me just clean this. So tell me, is there any question about the way we use the simple present tense with do and does? Is there any question right now? Not now. No. Okay. No, no. I, I okay. think there, there is very important more practice for this. Yes. Yes, it is. And we're going because to practice more. For, for me, is uh, any con confused, but try more or repeat more verbs or more exercise, exercise uh, can help me to better. Okay. That's right, Angel. That's right. And since Angel has spoken, I'm going to give you more practice. Go to the chat box and work on this right now. We're going to complete this in the chat box. Check the chat box and we're gonna do it. We're gonna practice a little bit more tomorrow, so don't worry. Go to the chat box and complete the practice. It's in the chat box and it is in WhatsApp group as well. Welcome, Karen. I'm happy to see you. Thank you, Bunny.
Thank you, people, for sending me the results. Uh, if you hear your name, say hello, please. I'm going to take attendance right now. Giovanni Alexander? Hello, teacher. Thank you. Hector Aviles? Hello, teacher. Giovanni Escobar? Hello, teacher. Jorge Fuentes? Andy Guardado? Hello. David Leiva? Okay. Hello, teacher. Angel? Hello, teacher. William? <coughs> Hello, teacher. Lupita is here. Paulino is here. Okay. Saul? Mr. Poca? Hello, teacher. Douglas Rivera? Hello, teacher. David Sosa? Hello, hello. <laughs> Carlos Valiente? Hello. Uh, Jorge Villeda? Hello. And Mr. Celayan Diaz? I'm here, teacher. Okay, yes, I know you're here. Okay. Okay. And me? You are here. I know you are here. Amazing. <laughs> now she's here. Yes, I put in her that she's here. It's Karen Hidalgo. Okay, we're going to practice. We're going to continue with our practice tomorrow with the simple present tense. I know that the auxiliary thinks it's a kind of complicated, but we're going to keep practicing so we can understand it a little bit better. We're going to finish our class, but I will ask Angel Molina to stay, please. And I will ask also Paulino to stay. Mr. Poca to stay. And Carlos Valiente, please don't go, stay. The others, see you tomorrow, bye -bye. guys. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye, everyone. Bye, bye. Teacher, present. I'm sorry, and I'm working. I know, I know you're working. I read your text message, and I know you're here, Kerson. Don't worry. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, guys. Um, Angel Molina, Carlos Valiente. I don't see your exam. We had exam on Friday and you didn't do it. What happened? We did. I worked the Friday. Yeah, um, I don't take the exam. The exam. Okay, okay. I know, I know you work on Friday, but you could have done it on, on Saturday. Because uh, I, some... I don't know that it's available available to take this Saturday. Some, no, of, some of your classmates asked me because they told me, teacher, I am working today so I cannot do the exam, but they asked me, can I do it on Saturday? And I told them, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Valiente, did you do it? Yes, I did, teacher. Uh, I told you uh, there was no button uh, to save it. Bottom. Okay, 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 Mr. Valiente, don't worry. Also, uh, Angel, I don't have homeworks. 
There are four homeworks and I don't have any of the four homeworks from you. Mm -hmm. All of them are in Schoology. Is there any problem for you to access Schoology? Tell me so I can help you. No, I have a problem. Okay. okay. Honestly. <laughs> Honestly, no, I have a problem. Okay, you need to do it and the practice will help you to improve and understand the, the structures we are studying and uh, attendance is important, but also homework. If you have attendance, but not the grade to pass, then you don't pass. Yeah, so you need to do the homework. I'll give you the okay. chance to do it today. The week okay. one and week two. Yes, homework. You can send it to me today or tomorrow and I will check them. So you don't have one because I don't want to write one. Okay, no problem to check, thank you. Okay, okay. And Carlos, uh, we will check that. Uh, Paulino, also the homework from last week. From the week hey. number one. Yes, teacher, I, I, I love the homework in the psychology. Yes, the, the, the week, the previous week, yes, but week now, which is Do's and don'ts. Um, I don't have it, Paulino. If you can go to the Schoology platform and work on it. Okay, the same for you, Mr. Poca. Only do and does. Yes, do's and okay. don'ts. Yeah, and uh, okay. that's all. That's all that you have to okay. show. Yes, okay. I'm, I'm telling you because I don't want to write one on your grades. I know that you are here and that you are working. And sometimes we have so many things in our head that we forgot this. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm telling you and reminding you. Okay, people? Okay, okay. teacher. Okay. Okay, let teacher, me check. Please. Let me check again. Uh, Carlos, I'm going to, the rest can go. So see you guys. <laughs> see you. Carlos, yeah. um, you told me that the problem was that there was not bottom, huh? No? Yes, uh, but the, there was a message. Uh, it decía uh, guardando automáticamente. Okay, yes. Oh, let me check again. Or do I have to do it again? Yes, Carlos. I'm so sorry. Okay. You will have to do it again because I I looked for it and then I couldn't do it. I couldn't. Okay. I couldn't check. Um, it. So please, could you take it again, Carlos? Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, you're very welcome, Carlos. Bye. See you. Bye bye. Bye. bye.